All right, today we are working on patterns and repetition. So we are going to make some patterns that are found in nature on animals. It's one of my favorite kind of patterns. So today I need you to get out some paper. It can be white, black, um, orange, yellow, some yellow, some orange, and I need you to grab the colors that you have and hopefully you could find a black, a white, an orange, a brown. Those are the good colors that um, are found on a lot of patterns. You can use markers, colored pencils, but today I'm going to use some oil pastels. Oil pastels can be a little bit messy, but I like them when I'm doing this kind of stuff. So I have started out by using a yellow piece of paper and I am going to be drawing some cheetahs or leopards. Leopards and cheetahs are really close together. So I want you to make some circles that are kind of like patterns that are repeating themselves. Circles that kind of go in and a little curvy. They're not always the same. When you're seeing things in nature that repeat themselves, sometimes they look exactly the same and sometimes they just look kind of the same. So I don't want you to worry about them being perfect. We're just making some cool looking patterns. I hope you got a chance to watch the little video about African animals. I've never been to a safari, but I would think it would be fun to see those animals running free. I have seen African animals at the zoo, which those are pretty cool too. Because you could get up close, but they're not gonna hurt you because they're kind of in a cage. But then you don't get to see them all running around and doing their animal fun things. Sometimes they get sleepy. Okay, first I'm starting out with just simple little lines. I'm going to add to this black, maybe even make it a little thicker. So take your paper and think about if you had a choice of having an animal print all over on you, what would it look like? Which one would you choose or would you make up one all on your own? It's just something no one's ever seen before. I think animal patterns are really cool. So once you've filled up your paper, if you're doing cheetah, if you're doing zebra, you're gonna add a little bit more if you're doing this one. I'm gonna add a little bit of brown on the inside. And I'm not even, I'm not looking at a picture of a cheetah. So, some of these patterns might not even be exactly, but that's a fun thing about doing artwork. Sometimes if you do it from your own imagination or just from your own memory of what you've seen, it comes out so much better because you, you designed it yourself. So I'm going around and I'm Inside of the black, I'm putting my brown. I am curious to what it's gonna look like when I add the orange on the inside. Now, being that oil pastels are really messy, I might have started off with the inside color and gone out, but I didn't. I just wanted to start with this easier to see it. 
So I hope that you guys have been having fun with art, even though you, you're not in school. At least you can turn on these great videos and sit down and turn on your favorite music. Like I like to turn on music when I'm doing my artwork. The music in the background over here, guess what it is? It's actually Hawaiian cafe music. So I'm picturing, I'm sitting on the Hawaiian beach. I should, I should actually picture I'm sitting in Africa if I'm drawing cheetahs, but I love to imagine myself on the ocean, sitting there and drawing, getting out my sketchbook and looking at the waves. That's what's really my happy place. So when I'm making these brown marks, I'm thinking about the inside that I'm leaving yellow. It's kind of like my negative space, that's what we call it. Positive space is the color I'm coloring brown. The negative space is what the brown looks like when it's not there, it's that shape. It's the yellow that I'm leaving behind because that shape is going to be filled in with some orange. I'm going to put that orange and you'll see I've been, I'm kind of getting dirty with this. But that's okay because when I'm done, i wash my hands nice and clean. Okay. I'm going to keep doing this and I'm trying to think of what would I want if I had patterns on my skin. I might say that I like zebra stripes. Maybe all different colors zebra stripes. That would be fun. How about you? Have you been thinking about it? What would your colors be? Bright blues, turquoise, I love turquoise. Okay, so you can see that part. I'm gonna leave that for later. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna take my orange. Now I'm going to fill that in and see how it takes the shape of that yellow that I left behind. So, that's why I kind of like to start with the black on the outside because then it makes the choice on the inside a little bit more unique and different each time. It makes a different little shape. And it's starting to look like some little leopard and cheetah patterns. So that's very cool. I love this. So with oil pastel, sometimes if you get it on each other, it's going to blend in, which is good most of the time. Sometimes it get, if you don't have a lot of space, it gets kind of messed up a little bit but I like it when it blends so you're gonna fill in those colors and then you're going to be done okay. you could put it up on a your favorite place to look at it and you could think about whichever animal that you chose you could think about it being in your room and or outside your window and you're watching it on on a safari you're in Africa and you're seeing all of those animals right outside your window it's pretty cool okay one more to finish with the brown okay and like I said I'll leave those for later. All right, this is our little pattern. 
So I want you to upload this on Schoology and then I want you to uh, answer the question on the page that asks you what kind of pattern you would like to be. Okay? All right. Well, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.